Hi, everyone. Going live on both Facebook and Instagram. So tonight I wanted to reach a broader audience, so I'm going live on both. For those of you that are new to my Instagram account, new to my Facebook page, I'm Kim Leskovic. I'm an essential oil educator and power business mentor, and I'm really passionate about um, helping people find what it is that has them waking up each day, just super passionate and enthusiastic about what it is um, that they're doing, whether that be their work, whether that be their yoga practice, their um, routinely chores. Um, I've just found ways and wellness tools such as essential oils, yoga, meditation that have really helped me with my mindset, with how I feel physically, and how I feel um, just emotionally healthy and stable um, throughout my day. Hi, hi, Krista. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Hannah over on Facebook. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about where I'm at. My mission statement has totally changed over the course of this year, which is super exciting. Um, but also in a good way of like what I want to do, who I want to serve. Um, and especially with um, going through yoga training. I realized that I, I do want to reach more people and I do want to take um, my growth and what I've learned through um, my experience into coaching and into um, helping people find what it is that they want to do in their life, what it is they desire, and to follow those dreams and to be able to work through that resistance in order to get there because I had to do that. And so, um, that's where I've been. So last week from the, gosh, what was it? Let's look at my calendar here. <laughs> um, the 9th through the 17th, I was actually at yoga training, um, yoga teacher training. So I completed my 100 hours um, on St. Patrick's Day. And then I, it was the first time that I've ever really stayed in on St. Patrick's Day, but I was so... Um, so one, emotionally and physically drained from the week, but in a good way. But also it was just really cool to absorb it all in after my training and to really notice where I was at. And um, after a week of doing yoga like three times a day, 12 hour days, um, I, need, I needed to reground and recenter myself for this week. And I'm still kind of feeling that I was feeling some resistance to coming on here and talking to you guys, but I know that what I have to share will, will serve someone and will inspire someone. So here I am. <laughs> um, so yeah, where I've, where I've been, I've, I've been in Iowa city, actually, that's where my training was and, um, where I've kind of, how I've kind of ended up taking yoga teacher training. I kind of wanted to rewind a little bit to where I was in fall of 2016 and kind of where I am now so you can kind of see where my growth has happened and kind of what I've worked through to get to this place in my life where I'm saying yes to being a yoga teacher, where I'm saying yes to other things in my life. Um, but yeah, so rewinding a little bit back to fall of 2016, I graduated um, previously that May with a communications degree from Iowa, um, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do at all, okay? So um, I was really passionate about like helping other people. I was involved in nonprofits, fundraising, um, and just really was passionate about like helping people feel good, um, especially like in Dance Marathon, families going through emotional and um, physical distress. Um, I was really passionate about helping lift their mood and help them feel supported through this really tough time. And so as you can see, that really translates into what I do now with essential oils and wellness coaching and just helping people, um, whatever they might be going through in life, just really helping them to find what it is they can use as a wellness tool to really support them and really have them just feeling really empowered is something I'm really passionate about. So um, I knew I loved helping other people. I knew I helped and I loved empowering people. And I knew I really thrived with a team like community and people that I could work um, towards the same mission and vision with. Um, and 
So doing some exploration, I moved to Chicago. My boyfriend was out here. Um, and I really just wanted to dive right into what it was that my purpose was. I was feeling really stuck in the sense that the jobs I was applying to didn't feel good, didn't feel right. Um, I didn't like having to rush into something without even knowing much about myself. Um, and during like college, I didn't really give myself that time because I just knew I had to get a major, I knew I had to graduate. And then once I got out, I felt like I really didn't understand why I chose the things I did and why, um, what my true passions were and what my true purpose was. And obviously that takes time. Um, but looking back, I, I credit a lot to my openness towards taking the chakra cleanse. And I talk about it a lot because it was honestly so transformational for me. I just did a root chakra yoga um, sequence by Yoga with Adrian um, just now before this live call. Um, because I find myself daily, for those of you that don't know what the chakra energy systems are, they are energy centers within our body. There's seven of them. And I took this cleanse where we worked through um, seven weeks really diving into each chakra. And so I've really come to learn how, how to notice which ones are out of balance and what I need to work on. And then I love um, taking that yoga sequence and wellness tools of um, yoga and essential oils to kind of re um, reallow myself to get back into balance through my chakras. Um, and so today I was just feeling, and even since I've gotten back to Chicago after my yoga training, just feeling resistance towards starting a new week because it was like such an inspiring and transformational experience that I just wanted to keep <laughs> living it. Um, I didn't want it to end. And so I think it was like back to reality type feeling, but, um, I've noticed when I work on my root chakra that you just feel safe no matter what, and you feel grounded and rooted um, even in those like daily life activities. So coming back to work and working on that root chakra of getting back recentered and focused before I put out content or before I um, continue on with my week, I think is really important. Um, and so the chakra work is something that I really really credit for a lot of my growth and a lot of uh, me stepping into my power of taking chances, of digging deep into what my desires even are. I remember writing down that I wanted to be a yoga teacher. I wanted to be able to speak in front of people. I wanted to have a message to share. I wanted to um, use my experiences and use um, what I found supportive and give that to other people and give back from what I've learned. And so I think that's just truly amazing. Um, hi, Alicia. She actually runs the Zen Babe Chakra Cleanse. Um, and so it's just really cool to see some of those things that I wrote down almost two years ago um, really come to life and like quickly, <laughs> even though they didn't seem like they were quickly happening at the time. And I was really, I mean, constantly thinking about these desires, obviously, but um, the more patient you are and the more open to the how, um, I think that's when you can really enjoy the process. <laughs> and so um, that's what I had to kind of remind myself throughout teacher training as well is that um, I knew that that week was going to go by fast, even though they were long days, even though we were learning so much, but I really wanted to absorb and unplug and really um, and really enjoy the process of learning all of that and to see the growth by the end of it, to learn how to teach a whole class is like insane in my head, thinking that going into it, I didn't even really like go to a power yoga class. <laughs> I did like my in-home yoga sequences and like just did it like on my own. And so to be able to teach something like that um, after a week is just incredible. Um, but so yeah, going back to when I was kind of taking the chakra cleanse and when I was really wanting to be a yoga teacher, I looked into um, various different programs and talked to a couple different people on the phone about their programs. And um, But something in my heart and something was 
was telling me to wait and not to like commit right away to that one that I was looking at. And it's funny because I look, I look at all the like steps that got me to where I am and my, and where, and who I'm taking my yoga training with. And it's one of my good friends, Emily, who I also went on a retreat with, who, um, is one of my business besties. Um, and I wouldn't want it any other way of who I'm taking this training with or through. Um, and so that just reassures me that like following that gut feeling of it not being the right timing, but also knowing the difference of what feels right and then what is just fear setting in. So I kind of want to go into that as well. Um, and so when I, when this opportunity for teacher training approached, approached me <laughs> whenever Emily decided to do it kind of, um, like before the new year, I would say, before this new year. Um, I remember putting on my vision board this girl um, doing a headstand. And my whole idea was that I really, I really wanted to embody the feeling of being strong this new year. I wanted to feel strong. But I also think I put that on there because deep down, even though I wasn't like, super on top of it, I think I wanted to be a yoga teacher. <laughs> like I wanted to, I was still holding on to that because deep down I knew that was part of what I'm here to do. And um, so Emily checked in every now and then to see where I was, if I was gonna commit. And I was the same way with the yoga retreat. I'm the same way with the chakra cleanse, very last minute, but hey, like, it takes me time to decide, but when I do, I'm like really committed and I really dive fully in. Um, and so I remember um, that this that this yoga training just, I was going back and forth a lot with it and same with essential oils and starting my own business that way. And um, there were so many nerves, so many questions. Um, so many like, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to take time off work? And um, and then it just kind of hit me, like how how can I make this work? And what it came down to was me just deciding that I wanted to do it. And I kept I kept thinking I was like, hey, would it be okay? I'm thinking about doing this yoga teacher training. Um, but I didn't like fully decide because I was waiting for the how, how it was going to happen. Um, but once the answer came back to me and, and, and asked me, um, is this something you really want to do? If it is, we'll make it happen. And that's when I had to decide. And that's when I had to um, notice my resistance and notice if it was fear or if it was um, not the right path. And so how I really how I really like tell this feeling, it's really hard to um, say into words, but I, I didn't want to regret not doing it. And when there was um, like a time frame presented of that this wasn't going to happen for another year and that the time to do it was now, that's when I was like, okay, I'm, and then I was like, universe, God, um, I really want to do this. How can I make it happen? And I, and then just downloads of people that, um, I remember I like called my sister, but I was like, I was trying to find a way to have my shift covered. Okay. So, um, funny story. I actually met with this person, um, probably a month before and met for coffee, really vibe together. And I was like, oh my gosh, this person was honestly like sent in my life to help me out cover my shift, allow me to do teacher training. Um, you can believe what you want, but that's what I truly believe happened. And when I was ready to decide, the universe had someone already in mind that was going to help me out. And so um, I think that was that's something that's been huge in my growth is learning to um, learning what my desires truly are and really um, journaling that out was huge at the beginning of my growth process and my self-discovery journey. I, I wasn't really even sure what 
what I wanted to do, what I was passionate about, and just getting really clear and organized on that was really huge. Um, but then secondly was my worthiness. And so um, I'm not sure if Alicia's on here still, but Alicia has this program called Worthy where you use essential oils. And we're actually starting, I believe it's next week, the 28th. Um, but you use essential oils on your pulse points. Um, you make two roller bottles. And we really dive into the emotional side of feeling worthy and what that looks like and how we talk to ourselves. Um, and a lot of mirror work. And so that was the second part, not only knowing your desires, but feeling like feeling your worthiness towards them and knowing your worth. And um, honestly, that anything that you dream of, anything that you desire can be yours um, through the work and through the self growth, I believe. Um, and then third, the third step to making this happen was deciding. And once I um, surrendered once I decided, once I put faith um, outside of myself, did everything that I possibly could, um, then then downloads just started happening of who I could reach out to, who I knew that um, could help make me help this happen. And so that's how I've personally kind of worked through resistance. Um, if you guys have any questions, kind of what I talked about, if anyone's still on here, I'd love to, I'd love to interact and chat. Um, but yeah, and then another thing I kind of just wanted to, ch to touch on was this idea that the chakra cleanse and that this journey inward and that this journey of self-discovery has helped me with is the feeling of home. And that's the that's a word that I think embodies this best for what I'm kind of talking about is um, when you just feel so true and you feel so comforted and you feel so reassured. Um, that's what I think of like when I think of home, like I feel like um, this is what I'm meant to do. This was my purpose. Like this is I belong here. Um, and so through the chakra course, I've learned that yoga has been that home for me. Um, the tribe within the chakra course has been that home for me. Um, the oils, reaching for a bottle of essential oils and smelling it brings me to a specific moment and a, and a feeling that, that can bring me to that feeling of home and that can bring me to that feeling of safety and being secure and um, confident. And, um, also meditation. So like I said, that feeling of home and tuning inward and being with yourself, um, that is like home to me too, is coming home to yourself is kind of what I'm, what I'm mentioning here. <laughs> um, and it's been, it's been a journey, I'll tell you. Um, and I've made excuses. I've faced my doubts. I've faced my fears, worries, um, and I'm sure I will still have tons of worries and tons of fears still. Um, but the biggest thing is to not give up because that's the only, that's the only true failure is when you give up and when you stop trying. And so, um, I was listening to like a video live cast kind of like this, um, where this, this guy was interviewing this woman who's also, they're both also in the essential oil industry. And um, he was talking about hosting a class and meeting like like-minded tribe members um, of his team and just, just aligning with like a feeling that you're taking the right steps. And so I was literally listening to this on my drive home after teacher training and I was like, this is too perfect, <laughs> and um, I hope Facebook's connection's okay. I feel like I'm getting like blurry or something, but hopefully we're okay on that end. If anyone's live, leave in the comments how I'm doing. Um, but anyway, this live cast talks about how um, we live, we have like this super conscious feeling, but then we also have our conscious. So the superconscious is what tells us um, 
more so of like our higher self and what's pushing us in the direction of our truth. And our conscious is kind of what's keeping us safe and what's physical and what's real. Um, so what they were talking about was that we f if we can follow this feeling of the super conscious and we can follow this feeling that sometimes we might not understand what it is um, because it can be so overwhelming that it's confusing if it's the right or wrong thing. Um, but he was saying if we can follow this feeling um, after we know our desires, after we know our affirmations of what we want, and we get this feeling towards one of these goals, um, but it seems super overwhelming. If we can just take one step towards this overwhelming feeling or this goal that we have, then that creates like faith. And that um, if we can just be brave enough to take the first step, the next nine aren't aren't even comparable. Um, and that's kind of how I felt with both my situations of starting a business, um, never dreamed of like when I was a kid, even knowing what an entrepreneur was and here I am, but um, it's totally the right direction. And it can feel really overwhelming with teacher training of taking a week off of things you have to say no to of, um, is it, is it affordable? Is it, Am I capable of getting that money? Um, and you might not understand what this feeling that's pulling you towards it is and why, but I encourage you to make one step towards it because um, every time I've done that, the rest of the steps just show up and they follow and they're presented to you in a way that makes sense. Um, after the fact. So after I took teacher training, I was like, oh my gosh, I was totally meant to do this. No questions. Like, how have I not known this sooner? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but it, but you don't know until after. And so if you're, if you're feeling called or pulled towards something that feels good, but also feels scary, that's kind of the difference. If it feels good and it's something you've always wanted to do or is something that you'd like to try who cares try it like what's the worst that could happen and would you rather would you rather like keep going forward and not knowing what it could offer you or would you rather um take the first step and see how it unfolds and worst case you just you just start over or you you don't follow through if it's something that just really doesn't feel good and so that's kind of what I got for you guys. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the thumbs up. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of just what I wanted to share and just what I, what I kind of realized through this process of transformation. And I think those were some of my three biggest transformations. One, um, the self-discovery work through the chakras, um, through my soul discovery course I took. Um, both of those seem scary to invest in. Um, third, starting my essential oil business. Um, and lastly, the yoga teacher training. And so all of them align completely. All of them make sense now that I've done them. Um, but yeah, like I said, you don't, you don't necessarily know until you try and until you take that first step. But um, get really clear on what it is you desire. Um, really practice that worthiness, practice those affirmations, look yourself in the mirror um, multiple times a day, even when it's weird, even when it feels uncomfortable, because that's when you need it the most. Um, and really get, get and practice being comfortable with talking to yourself and establishing that relationship, because that got me through a lot through this training and really helped me to not rely on other people's reassurance or um, confirmation that I was worthy. And so um, just really becoming your own <laughs> best friend. So as cheesy as that sounds. Um, and then decide, decide what it is you want. And um, it takes practice. So like I said, I've, I go back and forth, I take my time, but hey, it's, it's the deciding that matters, and when it's right for you, I believe it will happen. So I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration on your Tuesday night, and I will 
be looking forward to your comments and interaction. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week.